going on guys? Got my old funky hat on today. It's uh, Christmas Eve. The reason I got my old fishing hat on, I mean, I don't know if you can see there on the side, but it breathes. It's almost, I don't know, it's probably 70 degrees out here. Close to it. But we're down here on this piece of public where Trevor killed his big buck at. And, uh, it's, uh, like I said, it's Christmas Eve. I'm going to try to, I still got two, both my archery tags left. I never, I never ever harvested anything with my bow this year. I missed the one doe you seen on video. Seen some other deer, well, a lot of other deer, but never had nothing close enough. So I figured I'd slip down the seating and see if I can't. Get on a good buck or something. Nobody in the parking lot. It's been since buck seasons went out. It's not been hunted that hard lately, so I'm gonna go back in here on the the big wood side of the place and where everybody was hunting back uh, early. During buck season and early bow season, this is where everybody was hunting was back here. I stayed out of here, me and Trevor and Dad and them. We hunted out next to the next to the road because I knew if everybody was hunting. I mean, if you got a ton of pressure in one area, you know, they're going to push the deer out. So the best way to hunt public land is to hunt where everybody else ain't. Whether you think it's good or not. And this year it paid off. I mean, it, we knew all those people back in there that they was going to push a lot of the deer back out next to the road. So, you know what? Nobody hunting out there. So, that's what we did. Now, some people might watch this video and hunt down here and see that and hunt out next to the road next year. But that'll just push the deer somewhere else and all. We'll figure out where them people's not hunting. That's where we'll go. But uh, y'all stick with me. I'm going down here and shimmy up a tree and see if we can find and scout on my way down still a little early yet it's only one o'clock don't get dark till 5 30. well in the legal shooting this is at uh 5 29 his last shooting light well it's when i got you know what i mean can't shoot past 5 29 but i'll hit a spot that i scouted out several years ago and see if it's still got any sign in it if it does, I'm going to maybe see if I can find a tree and set up there. And maybe something's coming in there. Now that the pressure's slacked off, but I'll see what happens. Y'all stick with me. i got my new stick back here. I don't know if you can see it back there. But uh, it's got the Ultimate One stick with the UP platform on it. I haven't climbed a tree with it yet this year. I put it on the tree at the house made one move with it but i have been using the i was using a um out on limb mini stick with a scout platform on it the angle scout just i mean it's nice lightweight pretty comfortable it's not as much room so i ordered the up platform and put it on a 15 inch stick and try it out see what happens I think it'll be a little more comfortable. Plus, I also got the tethered uh, Predator XL that I'm using. So what I done was I took my mini stick, took the scout off the top of it, the scout platform off the top, and uh, just put another double, put a double step back on it. And so I just one stick up the tree with my mini platform or mini platform. I don't limb mini stick and then I hang my predator and I'm gonna use it more for all day sets or you know short hunts like this here. I mean I'm not going in deep. But if I'm going in real deep and I need a, as light as possible, I'm gonna start carrying this. But I wanted to use it today since I haven't used it yet. But we're gonna go up in here and see what we can find. Uh, Y'all stick with me and I'll be back at you when I get up the tree.
pipes in here. From this year, I mean, they're not using them no more, but I mean, they might touch them up if they come through. But as you can see, they got a heck of a trail coming out of here. Coming down in here. Coming out of them cedars. There's big open woods up in there. But I don't want to go up in there because a lot of times them deer will lay right on top of that flat up. I have my bug. I don't thought there's a flat up on top there. A lot of times they'll lay there. They can see you coming in, so I'm going to try to set up down here. The wind's blowing out of there, so I got to be moving. It's just a matter of finding the right tree to get in. Well, if I can get in that big cedar right there, that'd be perfect. If I could get up in there, that'd be perfect. But I don't know if we can get in it. I'll stick with me. We'll see if we get in this one or not. All right, guys. We made it in. We made it up this hole. Three trunked cedar here. As you can see, it's got three big. Well, this one here is separate. Got one big one there, one, one I'm hooked to, one big one here. I cut in the center one because I'm expecting the deer. I'm actually set up opposite of what you normally set up from with the saddle. But as you can see behind me, it's so thick. I got a couple of one little opening right here and right there that I can swing around and shoot if I need to. But where I'm expecting the deer to come from is over here to my left. Usually, when you hunt from a saddle, you set up where you're on the back side of the tree from where the deer is coming. But the way I had to set up it, this tree's leaning real bad, so I set up on the upper side of the lean, but I wanted to set up here because I got plenty of cover. Let me show you here. I've got tons of cover out in here. Now, and here's where I'm expecting the deer to come from. It's back up in there in them thick cedars. They got trails right down there is where all them scrapes was. They got trails running through here, as you can see. They all lead down into one main trail going around there. And up there in that opening way up there, there's another real heavy trail coming through. And I've got plenty of cover. Anything comes in behind me is not going to see me. Unless it unless it comes in right here. And I can swing around and get a shot. I'll hear it coming off that bank if it's coming in there. And there's another trail right here coming out. So something, but it's so thick here, they ain't gonna see me if I sit still if I hear them coming. They're gonna be right on top of me, but they don't see me with the, I mean, I got good limbs here. I'll let them get down to here before I take the shot, or turn to go that way and take the shot. I think it's gonna be a good setup. See, this might not, some people might not have got in this tree. See, it's rotted out there and there, down on the bottom, but. It's, this, this middle limb, is, it's clear to the ground. This middle trunk is clear to the ground, so I'm not worried about it. But what we have here, what we're set up on here is we got all field out in there. As you can see, it's all, that's just all field over there. And then on the other side is the river over there with them white sycamores all the way over there. That's the river. And you have a mountain on the other side, as you can tell. And then down here, these fields run way down through there. You can't see it from here. But there's corn planted, if it's still there. It was a month ago. There was corn planted way down in there. So that's what I'm expecting these deer to do. Is to come out of these cedars way back in here. Hit it out into these fields. Because the rut's over. The bucks are going to be looking for the feed back up. And they're gonna, the does are going to be looking to feed up from being chased so much, plus getting prepared for winter, which it does not feel like winter at all. It is Christmas Eve, which is December the 24th. And it's got to be 70 degrees. It's just too hot for this time of year, but what I'm hoping with no pressure being down here for a couple of weeks that these deer will come out here now before daylight. At least come in here where I'm set up working our way out the, you know, to, 
to look out into the fields to see if there's any danger out there before they go on out. But I don't sit here and we'll see what happens. But I hope we get a nice buck to come by or a big mature doe. I think I'm not I'm not against shooting a doe this time of year. I know some people are, but I'm not. But uh, got some. Dad like to have a little bit more meat, and I got some friends that like to have some meat, and my mom and them. So we're gonna try to see if we can't get a deer. Maybe help some people out and and stuff. But y'all stick with me. We'll see what happens. Maybe this old uh, slick hat will bring me some good luck.
side lock muzzler. Let's see if we can't get one that week, but mine gets in for three days. There's a fire behind me coming. I'm alerted. There ain't no squirrel.
seen it over since I've been away from home. Big bucks got through right for season stuff. It slips out through here. I don't know if they went on, but be nice if it would. I'm gonna turn this camera off and uh, keep my ears wide open, my eyes peeled. Hopefully something comes strolling through here. Try to get it on video if something comes in. We'll see what happens. I'm by myself to see him, so we'll see what happens. Well, guys, that's about it. I got about five to film. We got nine minutes left to legal shooting, but I couldn't see my pins to shoot right now anyway. Something back here in Cedars. I went through there a while ago. I thought maybe it one coming in. Must have been a squirrel or it kept on going out to the left, one or the other. It never did step out in this lane here, nowhere. But as you can see, it's getting pretty dark. I mean, the camera's actually showing it brighter than what it is. And I can actually see my pins better through the camera than my sight bringing through the camera better than I can. Phone actually picks up light pretty good, but there ain't nothing moving. I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna call it an evening, climb down, and maybe head back after the next week, a day or two, or maybe every day. I don't know yet. See what happens, but uh, thank y'all for watching. And uh, please hit that subscribe button to give us a like if you like the video. That helps a lot and lets us know that people are watching them and are liking our videos. So we'll keep putting them out. <clears throat> but uh, if you got any questions, just leave them down in the comments. Hopefully I can get back out next.